this is how you can get the tight look without it feeling tight. You need your puff cuff, some edge control. Of course, I am very partial to the laid firm edge control, which this stuff is magic. Spray bottle just to give your hair a little bit of moisture because moisture is your friend, even though you've probably been taught and told that black girls or curly girls should stay away from water. That's a lie. Water is your friend. Smoothing brush. The Edge Master edge brush with the silicone bristles. That way you can rinse it under the water and get all that nasty stuff out rather than it being boar bristles. And then also you have the spatula for the swoop de whoops and then the silk edge wrap. Why silk you say? Because silk is a hundred percent natural fiber. Everybody's, you know, I need my satin bonnet, my satin edge scarf, my satin, 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 satin is made from plastic. So in essence, if you're wrapping satin around your head or if you're wearing a satin bonnet, you're basically wearing a plastic cap. Silk lets it, lets your head breathe. You need that because um, I know if you're anything like me, I don't need anything else helping me sweat at night. So always use silk. All of the puff cuff bonnets, edge wraps, pillowcases are 100% silk. So this is what you came here for, how to get the tight look without it feeling tight. First thing, spray bottle, give your hair a little bit of moisture, don't need to be saturated. Then, because when your hair is wet, it has more elasticity, so it'll be easier to gather. Then I smooth it down a little bit. Then next I'm going to go for my edge control. It's not black. It's clear. Don't worry, folks. It's clear. See? So I'm gonna put a little on my edges. Now this isn't the baby hair gel. This is the keep it laid down, laid and slayed gel. That will again, give you that tight look, but it will not be tight. So I'm gonna brush again. Y'all can see it working. Now I typically don't like to use edge control on the back of my hair, mainly because my edges in the back have a tendency to be very, very delicate. And I don't want to give them any more reason to get angry when they do every now and then. So you open your puff cuff wide you put one arm in, the other arm in, overlap the hooks, let your hair go. And it's not pulling because the puff cuff is simply holding your hair in place, not cinching it down. So if you feel and look, I still got the inside of my puff is not being squished. It's just being held with the puff cuff. The next thing you do, you have your handy dandy edge scarf, silk by the way, in case you missed that earlier. You bring it around, Velcro it down. Then you go about your morning, brush your teeth, do your makeup, whatever you need to do. Give it about 10 minutes or so. We're back. So I'm taking off my edge scarf and then voila, you have the
the slick look without the slick tight look without it feeling tight. You can wear this to bed. You can sleep in the, the edge scarf. You can sleep in your puff cuff, especially when you're tight on time. It's, cinch, it's not cinching down. It's not going to cause any damage through the night. And since it's not moving, it's not causing any friction, which rubber bands, shoestrings, pantyhose, all of that stuff, they're moving in your hair and it's almost like sawing your hair strands every time it moves. So the puff cuff is a better, safer way to style your hair. It will not cause you a blazing headache and it will not cause hair damage. That's it.